G'day guys, thank you for tuning back into Altus Barbecue. So smoked barmy mini rolls today. We're going Vietnamese, stay tuned. These things are delicious. Let's get straight into it today. I've got myself half a Boston butt, a sharp knife. I'm going to trim that fat cap down to about a quarter of an inch, score it, get some yellow mustard so it can act as a binder for a rub of my choice. I've prepared this the day before, so time to wrap it up and put it in the fridge for somewhere in the region of around 12 to 15 hours. The next morning, get your smoker of choice up to temperature, which is about 225 degrees Fahrenheit. So fast forward about six hours, I'm in the stool. It's time to wrap this pulled pork. We're gonna be wrapping it with some honey, some brown sugar, as well as a little bit of butter. Six hours of smoke flavor should be enough for you, but entirely up to yourself if you wanna go a little bit further. I've got myself a nice bark, a nice color. So for me, it's time to wrap. And as I said, I've just got some butter, I've got some brown sugar, as well as some honey. Barmy has some great sweet flavors, so this should go absolutely beautifully with all of the other ingredients which make this meal into an absolute delight. Once you're all wrapped up, throw it back into the smoker and I increase this to 250 degrees Fahrenheit. What I'm gonna be looking for is a finishing temp of around 205 degrees, but you just wanna make sure that it's nice and tender. And that's what I'm validating with my thermometer here to make sure that I'm getting no resistance. And I'm not, so it's time to wrap it up and give it a good rest for somewhere in the region of around an hour to two hours. All the ingredients I'm using is in the description of this video. But first things first, I'm gonna get myself a couple of carrots and give them a grate. With this meal, the carrots are usually pickled, but what I'm gonna be doing to achieve something nice and sweet is I've just got a little bit of white wine vinegar as well as white sugar. Next, slice up your red cayenne chili. If you don't like the heat, don't put it in, but in my opinion, you need it. Cucumber is up next. Get your grater and thinly slice it. Now grab yourself some spring onion. I decided to chop this up finely. Then you have your coriander. Some people love coriander, some people hate coriander, and I am definitely on team love it. A simple sauce is all you need, so I've got myself some mayonnaise with a squeeze of lime. Now I'm making mini bar me today, but if you're making a big full size baguette, that's absolutely fine. I think these ones are tremendous for finger food. So just the mini rolls for me, and now let's turn our attention to our pulled pork. Get your bone out and that should be nice and clean. Grab some gloves or grab your claws and just pull that pork. I've kept the pork nice and simple with how I've smoked it and flavoured it today. Of course, I had to try a little bit of pork and it was delicious. Now everything is ready, it's time to make your beautiful barbecued pulled pork by me. So grab your roll and then put some of that sauce on, followed by the pulled pork, the cucumber, the carrot, the spring onion, the coriander and the chili. All right, these look absolutely delightful. Let's dig in and give it the all important taste test. Oh, very good. And chili gives it the spice, the coriander gives it extra flavor. The pork is juicy and sweet. That's absolutely freaking delicious.
Give this a go, guys. What a beautiful party food. Or you can just have it for dinner like we are tonight. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again in the next video. Catch you later. I actually said to my wife whilst we were eating this that this is such an easy, beautiful, great way to have some pulled pork. We love pulled pork. We have it in tacos. We have it in burgers. But this, for me, was bloody brilliant. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you again in the next video.